the main priority is the structural reforms and creating a job. And a lot of it is done and achieved. <coughs> One example. Several years ago, only 26% of all cotton harvested in Uzbekistan was preceded in the country. Today it's 80%. And if before the all cotton being exported from Uzbekistan used to generate us one billion US dollars, this year Uzbek textile, having the value added, being a value added product, will bring us two billion US dollars. It means that without uh, using the forced labor, child labor, new Uzbek economy brings more benefit to the to country. Export has been fully liberalized and trade turnover in 2018 rose by almost 30 percent. Last February, Uzbekistan has successfully debuted in world capital markets, selling one billion worth um, of euro bonds into international debt markets at the London Stock Exchange. The credibility of country as a reliable borrower has been acknowledged by institutional investors order, orders over subscribing its volume by 8.5 times. And uh, in conclusion, I'd like to tell you the relationship with the United States, strategic partnership with the United States, is very important for us. We highly appreciate the support and encouragement provided by uh, to Pakistan by Washington. I think that historic summit which took place, took place last May or May of previous year here in Washington was uh, in March the new era of opening up uh, partnership with uh, between Uzbekistan and the United States of America. And I'd like to say a few words of appreciation uh, to the Congressman Pat Terry for his tireless efforts in creating the Uzbekistan Cooperative in Congress. It's very important for us. Never before we used to have so many friends in Congress, and we um, think that it's uh, one of the most important institutional factors of deepening partnerships between our countries, nations, and regions. Thank you very much, and I wish you bon appetit. It's great to see you here in Washington, Senator Safaev. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Why does Uzbekistan want to be a part of such an international conversation on religious freedom? This is the second time you're participating. This is President Trump's big initiative. We saw Vice President Mike Pence uh, speak there today, um, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, and all of them really stressed on the fact that religious freedom is a huge factor in the U.S. foreign policy. Why does Uzbekistan want to be here for this? Uh, first of all, thank you very much for <laughs> your interest and for seeing me and to my talk pleasure. to me. It's my pleasure and honor to address why are you to the international audience. It was not decision of Uzbekistan to come. It was invitation of American side mm. to Uzbekistan and we think that it's a sign of recognition. The tremendous changes which have occurred during the uh, past two years. For Uzbekistan, international dialogue on this subject, human rights, liberties, and uh, religious freedom, this is very important because as any dialogue, it helps us to navigate our policy and to uh, implement uh, the needed actions and match international standards of this field. The issue of religious freedom today is uh, perhaps one of the most important, vital issues, not only for Uzbekistan, but global wide. Everywhere within some tension, uh, and conflicts based on religious uh, basis. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that the respect to religious freedom, new approaches to addressing the challenges and problems associated with the religious freedom is very important for stability, for economic development. It's very much binded and linked to each other. Uh, guaranteeing religious freedom means having more profound, in-depth stability. And stability is important for both domestic and international investors. And that's why um, uh, I think that it's a, it was a formula 
given by Senator, uh, Senator and Ambassador at large Sam uh, Brownback that it's time for Uzbekistan to capitalize its new image, its reforming process, and via uh, presentation of the transformation of Uzbekistan to invite more investors to come to the Uzbek capital market. And that's something new, you know, international re religious freedom becoming a factor in this. We know that you have an ongoing conversation with former Senator Brownback, special uh, representative on, on international religious freedom, and his argument is that religious freedom matters when it comes to investing, it does. when it comes to business, when it comes to doing business with the United States. And we know that this delegation is going to hold a big uh, dialogue with the members of the U.S. private sector in New York uh, next week on July um, 22nd. What are you expecting? What is the what is the mission here? As you know, approximately half a year ago, the government of Uzbekistan set up new agency, agency for capital market development. development. This is absolutely new formation in our country. Its goal is to channel domestic and foreign investments into the economy. Especially in regard with the domestic investments, so far it was an idol, due to the absence of infrastructure for bringing the, the money from under the pillow of the, uh, the uh, citizen to the economy. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it's uh, creating the agency is not enough. There must be a uh, new set of laws, new institutions, public awareness, education, of both who uh, are issuing their uh, securities and who are uh, participating in secondary market. And that's why here, being in Washington and in New York, we uh, have had many meetings with Security Exchange Commission, with um, uh, World Bank and other institutions of United States and International One, uh, f for discussing the ways and means of technical assistance to Uzbekistan in strengthening this in new, newly born infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, you want more technical assistance. Technical US could de definitely help. It, this is part. Mm. But at the same time, we also have an ambition to discuss with potential investors. Long-term investors. Uh, investors uh, who uh, have an interest in exploring new, very promising market of Uzbekistan for their capitals. And in New York, we're going to have a special forum and already around 60 big names, American uh, in, uh, investors, institutional investors, confirmed their participation, and we're going to present the potential and opportunities of Uzbekistan capital markets to them, mm -hmm. and we hope that uh, there will be a chance for Uzbek delegates, which are uh, coming from Uzbekistan, around 30 private and uh, companies who will um, make a uh, presentation of their uh, prospect of their emissions. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I know you have to go because they are rushing you.